Hello and welcome to my video for lab three, reflection and absorption. So here we can show our light bulb in the middle of our uh, apparatus, with a very scientific word there, apparatus, which just means our setup. Um, and we can see that uh, all of our, actually I'm gonna use my hand to film this, all of our thermometers are actually just being held up in a nice circle. If you look top down, right, they're looking like they're pretty evenly spaced around our light bulb. That's important, okay? So my goal was to make them evenly spaced around our light bulb. Now, we want to read off each of the different uh, temperatures. So this is the black cloth. Let's read off the temperature. It is 23 degrees Celsius. And our next one here, which is uh, our white cloth, is 20, what does that say, 20, Four degrees Celsius. Our uh, number three one, which is our dull foil, is right here. 20, let's just turn that a little bit. 24 degrees Celsius. And moving around, let's go around my desk here. Uh, we have our shiny foil, which is uh, number four. Oh, that's Fahrenheit. See, that's important. We rotate it. 23 degrees Celsius. And finally over here we have our last one, which is with no foil. You can see there's no foil on that one. And we have 24 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you have to write all of those uh, different pieces of data down. I'm just going to lock this in place. We're going to start our timer. And we're going to start our light bulb at the same time. So just a reminder, we had for number one, we had 23. For number two, we had 24. For number three, we had 24. For number four, we had 23. And number five, we had 24. Okay, so it's important uh, that there is a difference there. We, it's just something to note. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing right with it. It's just something to note. Okay, here we go. We're going to get started. We're going to have to flick our little switch for our light bulb and start at the same time. Three, two, one, go. You can't even see the timer because it's too reflective. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just raise up the timer so that maybe we can see it. Wow, totally cannot see it. Okay, well I can see it, uh, even if the class can't see it. You can just use the timestamp on the video uh, to get an idea of what's going on. Maybe if I go like this. That sort of works. It's really bright, but sort of works. Okay, so all those times that I just said should be for in your chart for time zero. And your chart has time five minutes, and has time 10 minutes, has time 15 minutes, and has time 20 minutes. So you're gonna have to write down each of those uh, temperatures at each of those times. So the next one we're going to do is the five minute mark. We just have to wait for this, uh, this year to change to five minutes. This is the part where you can fast forward the video if you want to, all the way to the five minute mark, but I have to sit here and wait. I have to just wait.
So one of the key things in this lab is to understand how to read a thermometer. Uh, on a thermometer, there is a, uh, oftentimes there's Celsius and there's Fahrenheit. So if you look at this one here, uh, it says 31 right now degrees Celsius, but it's gonna say uh, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, it's really important to read the correct one. Celsius is almost always the lower value. So keep that in mind. Uh, so that's a lab skill you have to know. Um, being precise is important. So trying not to uh, do a lot of guesswork and just rounding it to the nearest five. Uh, but being precise is important. Being precise about your timing is important. And um, yeah, making sure that you're always paying attention during a lab and staying safe. All right, all of our thermometers are going up. We have 50 seconds left till our first reading. And it's important to make some predictions whenever you're doing science. So which one do you think is going to be the hottest by the end of this? What do you think? Which one do you think is going to be the coldest by the end of this? What do you think? All right, I'm going to be taking the camera off in order to uh, get the readings. It's now five. It's 39 degrees for the first one. 39 degrees for the first one. 30, what is that? 35 degrees for the second one. So 39, 35. Whoops. 33. 39, 35, 33, going around, 39, 35, 33, 28, and 34. Okay, so again, trying to get those down as quickly as possible. Thirty-nine, thirty-five, thirty-two, twenty-nine, and thirty-four. No, twenty-eight. Sorry, I said that wrong. Twenty-eight, thirty-four. So we can see our temperatures are rising. So I'm going to see if I can tilt my camera differently so you guys can see that a little bit better. Please excuse the interruption, Ms. Boma, please call extension 504. Ms. Boma, please call extension 504. Thank you. Sorry about all those announcements the end of the day and 
now's the time for announcements. So there we go. Maybe what I can do is raise the whole thing up. So you can see hopefully here that this one is going up constantly. So hopefully you can start seeing a trend in terms of temperatures. shot. Okay. All right. So it's now, oh, it's nine minutes. Hold on. One more minute. Oh, man, the waiting game. Okay, but so far this looks like it's 20, 40 three almost and this is 37 let's see if those go up still thirty seconds Okay, it is now 10 minutes. We're at 43 and 37. Still the same. 43, 37. Okay, let's go around and record the rest of them. So here we have 30. 33.5, let's, let's go precise, 33.5. This one here we have 29. And this one here we have, whoops, 35. So 33.5, 29, and 35. Time 10 minutes, we have 43, 37, 33.5, 29, and 35. Those are our temperatures so far.
Okay, we're almost at the 15 minute mark. Okay, so our first number is 44.5. Our second value is 38. Okay, I'm going to now take the camera and go around. So our next value is 30, what's that? It's not focusing, hold on. 34. Okay, our next value is 30. So 34, 30. Our next value is 35.5. Just like that, we only have one more measurement to go. All I can think of right now is blinded by the light. That's all I can think of. Honestly, my brain and my eyes, it hurts staring into this light bulb. At least you guys are protected because you only have a screen to look at. So it only gets as bright as your screen goes, which is still bright, fair enough, but not as bright as a light bulb and staring directly into it. minutes left.
right? Oh, we have a couple minutes left here, a couple seconds left. Eight seconds. All right, and uh, this one has stabilized. It's at 44.5. This one is at 38, uh, so that's also stabilized. So let's take a look at the other ones now. So we only have to look at the last three, and then we have all our data. So this one here shows uh, 34, okay, 34. This one here shows 30, okay, and this one here shows 36, okay, so 34, 30, and 36. Okay, so I'm just going to write down that data, you should be doing the same, 34, 30, 36. And you probably noticed this last timer. Uh, everything has kind of slowed down, it's kind of stopped, and that's how it should be. That means that we're basically done our lab uh, at the 20 minute mark, which is perfect. Uh, hope that this helps you guys do the lab today. Uh, hope that you guys understand. Um, make sure that you understand how this whole setup is, you know, done. We're showing it from multiple angles. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, oh, I'm not even holding my finger there. One two, three, four, five. So I have all five of my thermometers in that order. That's how I've been doing it every time. This is black, this is white, dull, shiny, and no, uh, no covering. All right, good luck.